Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, welcome to Loot Trekker. This is the first official episode of the Wraith Rover save, and um, this is where we left off when, after we did the introduction video, I decided to save the game, and this is now the creative uh, avatar process. So I've gone all pink to match my shirt. I've gone pink everything. Um, what happened was I took a photo of my face with the mask on, and this is what it come up with. So this is why the face is looking all weird looking. But yeah, um, just going to do this and this. Right, so here's Rave Rovers. Um, they play at Starks Park. They have a capacity of 8,867. And then they have great training facilities, great youth facilities. So I'm hoping we can produce some really good young players. That'll be interesting. I was going to do it as a joint save with um, being the Scotland national manager as well, but I decided against it in the end. So they want us to sign high reputation players and sign players from domestic rivals. Um, last season, they finished seventh. So I think we can achieve that in, in better in the first season, hopefully. And then we'll just do this. Um, um, no, we'll do this. We'll just leave it as what, it's, what it matches up with Wraith Rovers. There you go. Nice shirt there, home shirt. So, um, director of football is John Potter. Mm, not very good. Assistant manager is Colin Cameron. Mm, he's okay, I suppose, for the, for the level that we're playing at. We've got an above average youth recruitment. So, um, Rafe Rovers had a great run in the 90s. Posting a total of 18 competitions wins. So here we've got one Premier Sports Cup, five Cinch Championship, three Cinch League One, three SPLFL Trust Trophy, three East of Scotland King Cup, and three East of Scotland Qualifying Cup. So um, we've only got £15,000, and we've got a wage budget of £17,309. First rivals of Dunfermline. So, um, yeah, let's see how we get on. This is our best lineup. I've been told that this gentleman here, Lewis Vaughan, if I get that pronunciation wrong, please let me know in the comments. He is our best player. He is best, his best role is a deep line forward. So we're going to try and cater for him and make sure he's in his best role. We've also got uh, a few other players that we'll have a look at in a minute. So, all culture is to sign high reputation players, sign players from domestic rivals, work within the wage budget, and they want us to reach the championship playoffs. So, let's hope we can do that. And then the fans want us to win promotion to the Premiership, finish a book done permanent, athletic in the league, get the better of rivals East Fife, happen to play against them. East Fife is a team that Lelujo has just took over on his new side, so that's quite funny. Um, get the better of our rivals Falkirk, if we happen to play against them. So hopefully I can beat East 5, so I can get one up on Lelouja. Even though technically he's not managing them on this save, but yeah. It will be funny, for me. Nobody else, but for me. Alright, so, two of our players are out of contract, so we'll just do that for now. Right, so we're going to create a tactic. Let's just, before we do the create a tactic, um, let's, hold on, let's do this first. Make him captain, we'll make him vice captain, and that. Right, so uh, let's in reserves and under 20, under 18s. This is our best lineup. So we've got Vaughan, who's a deep line forward, and then Ethan Ross is a winger. Um, we've got Aidan Conley, who's a defensive winger. Dylan at Eastern, who is a advanced playmaker on the left wing. So, thinking, um, we've got a few strikers as well. I'm thinking 4-4-2, quite um, rigid 4-4-2. We'll just keep it basic, I think. So, right, let's go back. Great tactics. So, we go wing play, make the most of the wingers that we've got. Um, we'll go 4-4-2, even though it's tennis to do that. Mm, no, we'll go... Oh, I don't know actually. We'll go 442 for now. We can always change it up. And then we'll go, we'll do this. 
protect that. Then we'll just think around here. We'll put the players in their best position, uh, best roles for now. Um, actually, no, we won't do that because there's no point doing that until the first game of the season. So we won't do that. But yeah, we'll leave that as the basic one for now. Just add some more of these. Uh, all right, let's go to the next part. Okay, yeah, didn't want to talk to the press conference because I never usually do. Um, I'll be back in a minute when I've tinkered around, did everything I need to do, and then we'll go. I'll go through some possible transfers I'm going for. Right, we're back in a minute. And we're back. Um, in the introduction video, I forgot to do a few fun facts about Rafe Rovers. So Rafe Rovers hold the record for the British record for the most goals in a competitive season. They scored 142 goals in 34 games back in the 1937 to 1938 season. And that record still hasn't been beaten to this day. The club were also involved in a shipwreck on their way to the Canary Islands in 1923 for a pre-season tour. They still made it to the destination, um, even though they're a bit late, and they won their games anyway. We're, um, they're com commemorating the 100th year anniversary of, of it this season and have created a bit of an unofficial tie-up with Las Palmas as a result, looking to arrange a friendly next summer with them as well. It's created, few, it's created huge interest with Las Palmas, and they're selling um, a kit in their club shop, and fans can visit to the ground, social media exchange, etc. So we've kind of formed an unofficial link with Las Palmas. Um, I'm, I apologise if I'm pronouncing that name wrong. But that's pretty cool. Um, be nice to have them as an affiliate at some point if we don't already. Let me just check. I, I don't think we do. Uh, no, we don't. So if I just type it. If I just search for that and hopefully, you know, at some point, we might be able to have them as an affiliate. I, I don't think we will, but. Um, but yeah, and then so famous Rave Rovers fans include ex. Prime Minister of England, Gordon Brown, um, Guy Berryman, who is in Coldplay, and then also authors Ian Rankin and um, Val McDermid. Um, Rankin's main character, Rebus, is a race fan, as the main character in Giles Foden's Last King of Scotland. So um, famous ex-players as well include Jim Baxter, before he moved to Rangers, and Alex James. Arsenal legend, who was a massive part of the Herbert Chapman's wonderful team. The stadium contains one of the most unique stands, as it, it's an L-shaped one, designed by Archibald Litch, and uh, and it so it will make like a redevelopment pretty difficult. Um, yeah, they've also controversially hired uh, uh, known wrongen David. Good Willie as well, but um, they rectified that pretty quickly, I think. So yeah, um, but yeah, and then don't don't talk to Rafe Rovers fans about Claude and Elka. Um, but yeah, we'll just go through this. So we signed this one here, this guy here, Lawton Green. Um, I think we just signed one of three. Looks like a pretty good prospect. Oh, we'll go through who else we've signed. So I signed. Robert Snodgrass, as he was the only one I could see free transfers wise that we can get that were pretty good. Uh, former Scotland international with seven goals, twenty eight games. He, he is pretty good at got a pretty good first touch, um, decent passer and crosser, and uh, fairly determined personality. So hopefully he'll be good. Um, be good for the youngsters as well. I need to. Uh, so we've had an offer for Ross Matthews. Uh, I feel like we can get more than that for him. Just up it to 10, hope for the best. Yep, there we go. Happy with that. Right. Um, right, let's go through the news items now. And I will hopefully get to play my first game at the end of, by the end of this episode. Uh, we need a new loan manager. We'll bring in him. Uh, we can only offer him 625, so okay. 
We're not going to do that either. Okay, he's happy with that. That's fine. Playing our ball with these people. Right, he's the best of the best one. He, he's um, from Scotland International. He's played for Celtic, if I'm wrong. Yeah, Celtic. There you go. See, I do. Even though I'm English, I'm half Scottish, so I, so I kind of have some sort of knowledge of Scottish football. I wouldn't say I'm an expert, but... Right, so I can't see him coming. We're just going to try and offer him as much as possible and hope for the best. Okay, we can't offer you that. Yeah. Okay, that's good. I was quite surprised by that. Uh, oh, for God's sake. Oh, that's all right. I've done something wrong here. Ah, there we go. Right. Did we get him? No, we didn't get him. Okay. Recruitment. Ah, oh, see, this is the boring bit here. We'll just get this done as quick as possible. Assistant manager, he... Um, I don't know. Do I go for him or do I go for him? Oh, I know who John McGinley is. I remember him. And we'll go for him. as I know his name. He won't come to us, so we'll have to go and go for Gary McGabe, who wants even more money than last guy did, which is not good. So, excellent, right. We beat Everton. Our first pre-season friendly, which is pretty good actually, considering. Um, we'll go for Mark Poon. Uh, go for him. Go for him. Or go for Mark Pembridge. Um, no, he won't come. Okay, I will go for him instead because he's got a very good defensive coach. Ah, and he wants to. That was an easy one. I will go for Aaron, Aaron Jess. I remember him. He used to be pretty good on Championship Manager back in the day. Uh, we'll go for him. Probably won't get him. Being greedy. No, we won't get him. Okay, um, we'll leave it as that for now. Manager, go for him. No, it's a bit boring this bit, but once we've got it done, we've got it done, and then we can just crack on. Go for his physio, another one. Then we'll go for him. Keeping coaches, he's probably the best one. I'll try and get the board to improve wages we can offer for coaches. Him uh, as well. Right, just in line up. St Johnston in the League Cup in our first competitive game. He's obviously the goalkeeper that we signed, pretty good. Right, so we've got our first game coming up now. That was pre that was pretty quick getting the pre-season done, wasn't it? Uh right then. So let's just try and put everybody in their best role. Millen is a wing back defender. That's fine. We'll just change that to defend. Actually, you can play support as well. There's not much difference, so we'll just leave it as that. Um, he's a wide centre back, which is annoying, but he's also a ball playing centre back, so we'll just do that. Riley is a wide centre back as well. 
He's also a no-nonsense centre-back, so we'll just do that. That will do that. Then we'll do that to... Uh, stopper. We'll do stopper. Right, Hannah is a full-back defend. It's, got, it's quite defensive-minded at the moment, so... Eventually we'll have to bring in players that are more tap minded, but at the moment we've just got to make do with what we've got. Right, so Ross Matthews, who's leaving soon, he's a wide midfielder support. Uh, Bayern, I'm going to call him Bayern. I might get that wrong, let me know if I have. Box to box midfielder support. So he plays there. And then Snodgrass is. Uh, deep line playmaker support. I assume Snodgrass would be on the wing, but okay. And then we've got a defensive, defensive winger support, so very defensive minded. At least it's support, it could have been worse. And then Vaughn is a deep line forward. Is he a support or attack? Attack, ah, okay. We go deep line forward, attack. Um, oh. He's a pressing forward defend. Very defensive minded in this team. See how it goes. We'll put him in our best roles and hope for the best. Uh, we can definitely do with signing a left back by the looks of it. That's our weakness. Might have to play Snodgrass as left back eventually, I think. Right, uh, let's see how we get on in our first competitive game. Hopefully, we start well. Anyway, there's the lads walking down the pitch. Just need to tinker with this for seconds. He highlights. Okay. We start with uh, St. Johnston, who we're playing against. They are in possession. Uh, quiet game so far. Hopefully now we're in possession, we might be able to turn this into something. O'Reilly to Connolly. Nice little pass to Gullum. Gullum with a beautiful pass to Varn. Varn finishes it nicely, 1-0. Do we know we're uh, quite defensive-minded? We've already scored, so that's pretty good after 12 minutes. They're now in possession, though. Cross it in. Lovely header by Millen. Defensive play by us. What I like to see. Defend, defend, defend. Uh, see how we get on. I hope everybody is uh, liking the pink Rafe Rover shirt, by the way. Right, Conley in possession. Loses the ball. Can we get it back? We can. Nice little passing exchanges between the players. Shot hits the bar. Oh, lucky. Got some firepower in her, so I'll give us that. I think that might have been Snodgrass out of that shot. Hopefully the new signing will get a goal. Right, half time, 1-0. Good good result so far if we leave it as this. Uh Conley's not playing well though, so we're gonna man more from him. And so is Millen, so we're going to demand more from him. Ah, right. Very quiet game in the second half for highlights. I don't think we've had a highlight yet. I'd be quite happy with that, though, to be honest. Cause I just want to get a result. Want to move on to the next game. We can always start playing better football down the road. Right, they've now got a throw-in. Ross is in. Oh, I thought we headed out then. Graham Carey. We'll take off Connolly. I'm Dylan Easton. Right, just need to think with the tactics and make sure they're in the best roles. Easton is a, an advanced playmaker support. We'll push him up here. 
Uh, who else did we take off? Before? Can't remember. Uh, we take on. Did we take anybody off? Yeah, we are. We um Conley. Is this is Conley? Conley is a midfielder. Oh, that's who we just. No, we didn't. We took him off just now, didn't we? Oh no. Okay, there we go. Is it Watson? No, four in it. Yeah. Sorry about that, at all. Right. There. There we go. Okay, let's see what we can do now. We're, we're slightly more attacking. I hope that'll benefit us. Matthews. It's not grass, it's the post, but then Easton gets the goal. Good, good, good. Easton, super sub. Right, let's, uh, let's not have any more shenanigans. Oh, we'll take middle off. Can we? Yeah, we can. Right, 10 minutes left plus added time. Let's uh, make sure we don't concede again. Good clearance. That's what I like to see. Good defensive play there. Oh, that's not good defensive play though, is it? Come on. I can see a lot of games happening like this. Right, still got a few minutes left. Let's see if we can get a winner. As long as we don't concede again, I'd be happy with the draw. But they look more likely to score by the looks of it. How would we go? Oh, thank you. But he thinks he's playing rugby. All right, we've got a goal kick. Dabrowski. Oh, for God's sake. That's really annoying. We were 2 1 up at one point. All right, I'm going to break the players. This is not acceptable. Did not want to start my first game with a loss. They look like they're going to score. Oh, here we go. Vaughn, that's it. Vaughn. Oh, that was terrible, Vaughn. You, you, you're better than that. Come on. You're our star player. Um, somebody did tell me who was a Rafe Rovers fan that Rafe Rovers have a knack in real life of scoring uh, late goals. So. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. Easton, is he going to have another pop? He's, oh, he did well to get past them. All right, I've got a corner. Come on. It's not grass with the corner. Uh, well defended by them. Half throwing. Ah, uh, now they've got a throw in. Damn it. There we go. We've got the ball though. Easton. Do Gullah. Let's keep possession. Let's try and get something out of this. We've only got a few minutes left. Great little ball to Vaughan. Vaughan back to Easton. Easton. Oh, 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 this could be interesting. I think this is a penalty. It is. Vaughan steps up. Can he get us the late equaliser? Oh my god, Vaughan, what are you doing? What was that? That was terrible. Absolutely terrible. Oh, that's frustrating. We could have got a point then. Oh, well, I mean, it's only the League Cup. We're not going to be focused too much on that. All right. I'll, uh, I'll be back with the next part of the episode in a minute. And we're back. And we're playing Aloha Athletic in the next... Um, in the group stage of the Premier Sports Cup. Not exactly something I'm that bothered about in this save, but we'll give it our best go. So um, I think it's a fairly unchanged team. I think Core is in the team though, and he's a centre-back defend. Riley, I think, hasn't played yet, and he is a wide centre-back, but he also can play as an inverted back. Inverted pullback defend. Snodgrass is wide midfielder attack. Uh, Matthews is a Carolero. You'd have thought I'd get used to that after the uh, 
Britain save with Garner, but I still can't pronounce it right. Stanton is a box to box midfielder support. That's fine. Conley is a defensive winger support. That's fine. Nick Smith is, yep. And Vaughan is that one. So, yeah. Right, let's see how we go. Let's hopefully, let's hope we get a win. Really, and I was really annoyed with that last result, to be honest. Playing Aloha, famous for the logo with the bees. Perhaps let's have a quick look. Is it bees? Yeah, it is bees. Nice kit as well. Right. First highlight of the game. We're in possession. O'Reilly passes it to Conley. Conley loses the ball. This is the type of football you're going to expect on this at this level. Not um, as good as the English, pardon me, English Premiership, for instance. Right. Lost the ball. That's offside. That was offside, surely. Thank you. The referee. Or linesman. Sorry, not referee. Oh, there you go. All the way to us. Corner. Oh, he scored there. Oh, I was going to say that was going to be a corner. But <laughs> never seen that before on FM. Oh, that tickled me. Right, they've got a corner. No, 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 no. That won't. That won't. That won't be good at all. Not tolerating that. Ah, <sighs> two two games, two losses so far. By the looks of it. Keith Watson's knackered as well. Can't even play a whole first half. So, oh, actually, there's a few players that are knackered. Just gonna have to force them to play. Roll your socks up, lads, and get on with it. We are slightly better than them. Our XG's better, at least. We should be at least. Might be a goal here. Oh, 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 oh. what do we have here? We have a penalty. Vaughn, do not mess this one up. Like the last game. Get in. Excellent. Good, good, good. Um, I think I'm only going to take players off unless the uh, when the assistant recommends it. Oh, there we go. One. Right, they've now got a bloody corner. We defend it well initially, they've got it back though. Uh we get this on get this ball off them. Oh. oh thank god for that. Good save by our goalkeeper. Who do we take off as the last substitution? Um save by Dabrowski. Right, Snodgrass is coming off. Right, let's... Uh... Actually, no, I won't bother. No point for the last few minutes. Okay, we've got a corner. I can't remember. Yeah, we've, we've got a corner. Stanton. Yes, go on, Stanton. Get in. At the right time as well. A few minutes to go. Can we just keep this? Keep this lead, please. Uh, I think we can. I know we can. Yay! Good, good, good. First win of the game. Our new player, Blair Lyons. Is he a right winger? Can play right wing. That's good. More of a left winger though. Now that's good though. Right then, I'll be back with the uh, final bit of the episode. Right, we're back for the final part of the episode. And we've got a uh, another Premier Sports Group match against uh, Brecon, Brecon City. I think it's Brecon or is it Brechen. Not Brechen. I apologise to anybody from that part. That, um, that town, city, town, town, town in Scotland. I apologise. Right, so... Pretty much 
unchanged team, I think. Oh no, there we go. Um, all that as well, yeah. Go that, and then that. Um, O'Reilly is a wide centre back, but he's also yeah, that's fine. Matthews, Rillo, but he's also wide midfield support, so that's fine. Brown is a box box midfield support. Uh, Stanton is the same. Uh, we're going to push it. We're going to change it up a bit. We're going to push that position there. And he's an advanced playmaker support. So we'll play him in his best role. Hopefully that will benefit us. Hamilton's playing his first game. He is a target board support. And Gullen. So Lewis Vaughan is not playing this game for some reason. Injured? No. Probably just tired, probably resting him. Right, okay. Blair Lyons is essentially going to make his debut. Well, let's see how we get on. Lost 1-1-1. One, one, one. So, but in theory, this will probably be a draw. Already got an injury. Placing Stanton's injured. Um, so we'll have to put Lewis Vaughan on for him. Lewis Vaughan is not, I don't think he's a midfielder. Uh, he can play in that position though. Actually, he's very good in that position. I stand corrected. Might be an upgrade to Stanton actually. Right, Mason. The Vaughan. Gullen there. Brown. Vaughan passes it around. Nice little passing exchanges here, not losing possession. What we like to see. Matthews now. Crosses it in. Beautiful header by Jack Hamilton. Scores in his first game for us. We signed him recently, or I don't remember signing him. He must have already been at the club. But yeah. Scores in his debut. Right, we've got a throw in. Vaughan loses the ball. We get it back. We do. Bullen passes it across to O'Reilly. O'Reilly now to Easton. Easton. We're playing a lot better with Easton in that position, so hopefully that will be a good sign. Let's take that and then watch us concede now. Right, Vaughan. Beautiful ball hits the bar. Unlucky. Seems to be all over him. First of the commentator coming up there. Another free kick to us. Um, that was ambitious. Vaughn manages to keep it there. Beautiful ball. Great goal by Gullen. Both our strikers have scored. Our other striker playing in midfield has got the assist. So that's nice to see. Uh, Easton is not playing well, for what I just said, about playing better with him in that position. All right, we lose the ball. That was a beautiful ball by them, fair play. Defending by us. Yeah, good, good first half performance. Praise the team. Hopefully that went backfire on us. Um, despite our first loss of the season to St. Johnston, we are now second behind St. Johnston. Group got the ball, Gullen drives it forward. Looks to be crossing it in. He does. He's trying to keep Zanza. Their goal kick. He got the possession there. Gullen. Easton there. Beautiful ball to Vaughan. Vaughan. To. Hamilton, who skied it over. Right, Dylan Easton, you're not playing very well, so you're coming off. Put Callum Smith on. Callum Smith is a pressing ball, but he also can play as a winger support. Yep. Right, what can we do with the rest of this half? Let's hope we can keep the lead. We've got another corner. 
Most of the highlights seem to be to us, and Jack Hamilton scores another header. Very good as a target forward by the looks of it. I think we'll be looking to play him. We could just play Vaughan. Just got, he's got two assists in that, in that role. Played very well. We could play um, Vaughan and Hamilton up front together. The one can be the substitute that comes on when we're a bit, players a bit knackered or we're not playing very well. A few options, which is good. Um, we keep a clean sheet in this game though. A few tired legs in defence. Save. All right, we've now got possession again. Beautiful little pass and exchanges here. Beautiful, lovely, lovely passing football here by Ray Rovers, considering the formation we're playing. Oh, that was a beautiful ball. That should have been finished by Hamilton. Should have got his hat trick there. Their goal kick. We get possession though. Cullen. Beautiful ball to Hamilton. He was very unlucky there. But ah, offside though by the looks of it. No, oh, I thought that was offside then. Right, there we go. Four nil. Lewis Vaughan with a hat trick of assists. He needs to be staying in that bloody role. Right, we've got another free kick. Milan. Matthews. Oh, that was a bit of beautiful goal that went in. That was a nice little result. Four nil. Nice way to end the episode. Me celebrating in my all pink outfit. Look like bloody Mr. Blobby. Right then. Um, just uh, let's have a look at the fixtures coming up before we go. That one. There we go. So we've got one more. We've got a, a game against rivals, East Five, in the next episode. And then we've got Park Thistle, Green at Morton, and Dependent, uh, another rival. In the championship, so hopefully we can start the championship campaign on a high. But yeah, um, thank you to everyone subscribing to this. I hope you're enjoying the new, the new series, and all the best. And I'll have another episode up tomorrow. So yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.